Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Jeff holding an American alligator. Hello. Hello. Well, can you tell me about this American alligator that we have here? Well, this is a, uh, could be considered a hatchling, and they're very, very small when they hatch out of the eggs. This animal is probably no more than 10 inches long. And uh, you can see it has a vivid pattern. It really isn't trying to bite at all. They have a full set of teeth and could probably just break the skin, but uh, just not uh, not terribly aggressive. I see him or hear him making that little Still making call there. chirping noise. Mm -hmm. I also see he has some webbed feet. So what kind of environment would he use those webbed feet in? Well, obviously they're they're an aquatic species, semi-aquatic. Um, the youngsters, when they do hatch, will stay near mom. I mean, she will provide protection uh, to the, the whole nest while it's being incubated. And then once they start hatching, she will help break them out of the nest. And then they'll stick around her and she'll help uh, chase away any predators. Um, and at this size, you can imagine they probably have quite a few enemies out there, you know, uh, predators that would find uh, something like this a nice little snack, whether it be a water turtle, uh, many birds eat young alligators, and of course other alligators. They are cannibalistic. Mm -hmm. So what do an alligator of this size eat in the wild? Small fish and insects, and as they grow they'll eat bigger and bigger animals. Uh, adults will eat waterfowl and turtles and fish and anything that comes near the water. Uh, but the youngsters, of course, mostly insects and small fish. What do you feed these little guys here? We feed them that here. Um, we have small fish available for them. We feed them insects like crickets and superworms. So they get a variety of things here. Um, what does this um, pattern help them out with their? Natural habitat. Well, it helps them blend in. Um, in their habitat, they would be uh, a little more difficult to see with that pattern. Now, as they grow, they lose a lot of that. Uh, the adults end up being almost a, a pure black on top and then that cream colored underbelly. So they'll lose that uh, as they get larger. Well, let's go take a look at some of these larger alligators. Sure. And here we have a slightly bigger alligator. Yeah, this one's a few years old. Uh, they will grow pretty rapid when they're young. A foot to a foot and a half a year uh, would be common. And you can see the size difference between the hatchling and this one. But how long is this alligator? This one is uh, a little over two feet, uh, almost three feet. And as you said, with the little hatchlings, they start. Uh, this one is definitely losing that pattern that he got had when he was younger. Yeah, you can see that the pattern is starting to uh, go away. Oh, he's feisty. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> well, I'll screw his head for a second. So let's put him back in. Okay. And here we are with the largest stage of the American alligator. So, where can you find these American alligators? Well, there are, uh, out of all the crocodilians, there are just two species of alligator the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. Obviously, the Chinese alligators are found in China, but they don't grow as big either. They grow up to about six or seven feet tops. The American alligators are found throughout the southeastern United States, from the Carolinas down through Florida, and as far west as East Texas. Uh, and they're found, obviously, in swampy areas, typically. Uh, the males grow larger than the females. Uh, a large American alligator would be over 10 feet long. Um, the record is uh, somewhere over 15 feet 
there are some uh, questionable records of a 19-footer. Uh, so they get pretty big. Uh, the females grow maybe up to eight or nine feet tops. How big are these alligators? Well, Rocky over there is almost 12 feet long and about six to 650 pounds. The female, Adrian, she is uh, about eight feet long and she weighs in at about 250 pounds. So these alligators are bigger here in captivity than they would be out in the wild. Well, there, there are some in the wild that are, that are very big. Um, with a number of states having hunting seasons, uh, it's rare to find any alligator much over 12 feet long in the wild. On occasion, a 13 or 14 footer will be caught uh, or seen. But uh, the males probably average closer to 10 feet long in the wild. So are these um, alligators endangered? No longer. Uh, in the 60s, they declined at such a rate where they were uh, endangered and they were uh, brought under protection. And nowadays, they're managed more. Uh, you can't just go out and, and capture or kill an alligator anymore. They structure things to where if they feel they need to call some off, they'll have an alligator in the season. And it's very limited uh, in all the states that are found. Um, their biggest problem right now would probably be some habitat loss. Uh, but their numbers are, are up there and uh, they're no longer What would be the biggest predator for an alligator of this size? Or well, the, or full of ground? actually, the, the only other animal uh, that would pose a threat to this guy besides humans are other alligators. Uh, the males tend to be territorial and they will get into fights. Uh, and I mentioned earlier that they are cannibalistic, so large alligators will eat smaller alligators. Um, so, they consider another alligator fair, fair game. And from the beginning of this video to here at the end, they keep, they're a hatchling from a couple of days old, it's only 10 inches, and here we are fully grown at above 10 feet. So it's a very big size difference between when they're born and here. Yes. Um, and that's true with all the crocodilians. Uh, when you consider uh, something even bigger than an American alligator, like the saltwater crocodile, it can get over 18 feet long. Um, they're very small when they hatch out of the egg also. And uh, they may grow to be 70 or 80 years old. And they never really stop growing. It's just that when they're smaller, they grow at a much faster rate. Well, thank you, Jeff, for telling us all about the American alligators and then showing us some of the different sizes that you have here. Sure. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel.